Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview for a Philadelphia Flyers versus the Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes lost their last tilt. Both teams are coming off of back to backs. Coyotes lost their last tilt uh, to the Florida Panthers and Sam Reinhardt, who blasted home the 3 to 1 goal. And then you had Sam Bennett, the two Sams, the duo of the Sams that murdered them last night. That scored the one other goal, and then Patrick Hornquist got the other as well with an assist by Ryan Lomberg, a player that I really like, um, for Florida down there. And then the lone Coyotes goal was by a guy that is probably soon to be traded in Phil Kessel. Um, <clears throat> now, for tonight's tilt, we have to obviously the players to watch for the for the Arizona Coyotes are one Clayton Keller. Two is Shane Gostas Bear, who has 17 points. Former Flyer Ghost is doing really well for a Coyotes team that obviously isn't getting the most potent uh, contributions around that lineup. They have guys like Andrew Ladd towards the end of their careers um, in their lineup consistently down there, which is good for those guys to be able to get a spot and get some time in a lineup, excuse me. Um, but obviously... That when you ever have a lineup like that, that shows you're in full tank mode, they're in full Shane Wright mode, um, or whoever else they want to get in the draft, Cooley, uh, Savoy, whoever else they want to grab in that draft. When you have Travis Boyd as your line one center, who's having a good season, albeit 10 points, but as your line one center, that's when you know you're not going to compete. But um, they got to, when it comes to tonight, you can't take this team lightly. The Flyers obviously have sucked of late minus last night when they finally let's go, ended the streak and beat a good Vegas team. So you cannot take a team run by Torney, who really does run a good system. Pirlo and I talked about it on, uh, his show this week. Andre Torney runs a very nice system. And then Bill Armstrong got him veterans that just know how to play like within a system like Ladd, Roussel, uh, not really Louis Erickson at this point of his career. Congratulations for meeting a 1,000 games, but he's not that big of a player to contribute anymore. But you have guys like that. You have Golchenyuk, who's still playing to prove himself in this league. Travis Boyd, who wants to be able to show that he can not just be a great AHLer, but a good uh, NHLer as well. So you have guys that are all in the prove-it mode or guys that are in the prove-it-to-stay mode. And then Clayton Coe is having a hell of a season and probably showing that he might want to stick around there and maybe be a part of, like Gary Bettman said, they're committing to stay in there, be a part of um, the next wave of success in Arizona. But as we get into previewing this overall game, our Flyers are 9, 12, and 4 against the 5, 19, and 2 Arizona Coyotes. As we go into game center, um, the goal is 4. Is 32nd to 27th, so don't expect a lot of goals scored in this game. Uh, 2.40 to 1.73. Uh, the Flyers have the 2.40. Uh, the goals against per games played is 3.32 to 3.62, which that's also in the lower end of the league. So I guess it could maybe be some goals scored in this game uh, because obviously both of these defenses allow openings in their gaps like Swiss cheese at times. But also, both of these teams do not have potent offense numbers and have not had potent looking offenses this year. Where the Coyotes are because of the guys that I named. They have good veterans that are out to play within the system, but they're not going to produce the offensive numbers. If I just because they're not producing the way that they should be producing. So we'll see if that continues or if they start producing like they did last night to be able to get a key victory, a 4-3 victory over the Vegas Golden Knights, because if the Flyers can continue to play and battle and have a great performance out of the goaltending like they've continued to have all season, then they maybe can have that game be a start like Carter Hart talked about after. Sometimes you just need a one game to get you going. Maybe that can be what that is, but obviously we have to believe it to see it, and we need to see it uh, going forward for this team, because one game is not going to change um, what fans feel about this team, but we're rejoicing and glad that they were able to get a win. And then it's also something we should rejoice and just be glad that we're able to play a team like Arizona, but you got to take advantage of Arizona where it looks like Max Wilman, which is nice to see, is going to get on the third line again. But I don't agree if they're going to put Oscar Lumbum necessarily back down to the fourth line, if they're going to do that. But it looks like Mike Yo is kind of moving lines around. He has Lodge, Katoria, Konechny. It looks like Frost, Giroux, Atkinson. I do like that line. Uh, Wilman, Hayes, Van Riemsdyk. I would honestly put Van Riemsdyk on the fourth line, to be honest. 
uh, move Oscar to the uh, third line. Uh, Brown and McEwen, and then Provorov, Braun, uh, Yandel, and Connaughton, who um, I didn't even say this in the video. I should have brought it up. Uh, I honestly forgot. But Connaughton and Yandel played together in Florida, too, so that makes that just a little bit even better of a smaller pickup. And then Sanheim and Ristolainen. And then, obviously, we have Carter Hart and Morton Jones, and then you have Jackson Cates, who's going to be scratched. And then Brass, who's considered day-to-day -day again. And one would have to envision Marty Jones, after Carter Hart had over a 40-save game last night, to have his sixth win when he's over 40 saves and no regulation losses uh, to boot. Um, you would have to envision Marty Jones is going to start this game, but we're playing a downtrodden, a rebuilding, full rebuild Coyotes team. So if you can just come in, play the game, play the Flyers, brand that we saw last night more so but obviously at the beginning of the season where we definitely saw though a battle and a team that knew when they were tested how to bounce back last night which we have not seen since the middle of November so if the Flyers can play similarly to that but hopefully not have to rely on the goaltender as much because you should not be able to allow as much offensive pressure against the Arizona Coyotes obviously then you can definitely win this game because if you're allowed, if you're able to get four goals on the board um, against the Coyotes, you're definitely going to have a great chance at winning that game. So have a great day and pleasant day, everybody. This has been a preview to the Arizona Coyotes and Philadelphia Flyers game that's this evening at 9 p.m. Peace out, everybody.